All right, what's up, guys, and welcome to another video for Gaming History 101. Uh, as part of Shm Appreciation 2013, um, we are doing a video today of the import game for the Dreamcast, Zero Gunner 2. Now, some of you who read this site may have noticed this was number five on my top five uh, games worth importing for, and uh, the reason being, you'll see in a second, but I decided to make this video because the only game out of this list that I didn't have a video already up for, and... Uh, um, and uh, it was kind of hard to describe. People, I kind of describe it like Geometry Wars, where screen um, orientation and geometry, uh, real estate, shall I say, becomes an issue, and people didn't quite understand what I was talking about. So, um, hopefully, this will help you out. I'm going to play it on normal level four, and uh, and I'll show you kind of what's going on. But it is more of a traditional shmup when you play it. But uh, let's start it up. All right, so you get to pick your chopper. Um, I don't know. I haven't played with all these. Oh, I guess I'll do the Apache. All right, now the reason I say this is your location on the screen, as you can see, I have a finite screen. Um, what changes is kind of the, the area I get, and as you can see, my chopper's kind of rotating. Well, that's not... Um, that's not automatic. That's me doing it. And so this is kind of the interesting and weird way that Zero Gunner controls, which is that you have to um, hold the... Uh, I think it's the X button, because they had to, they couldn't do Nintendo-style controls because Super Nintendo controller. But anyway, you hold the, the button that would be um, X on the Xbox controller, I guess I would say, or square on the PlayStation controller. And while you hold that, you can rotate as you fire. And so, as you can see, as the screen fills up and real estate becomes an issue, um, you'll need to rotate around and adjust accordingly. So it um, it's going to start off really easy and then get a little bit more frantic, especially with boss battles and things like that. And so uh, you can kind of see it as we go on. And rotation isn't always the easiest thing, so that also becomes an issue, as I'm demonstrating here. <laughs> anyway. Alright. And here's where you'll start seeing some mild bullet hell um, dodge mechanics needing to be used, but nothing crazy. Uh, the boss goes down pretty fast, and then interesting thing about this game also is the bosses have um, a mech. They kind of uh, reiterated to a mech for, um, for part of the level. I uh, made real quick work of that guy. <laughs> Anyway, hopefully already you guys have a much better idea as to what I was trying to convey in my article. Um, because the article wasn't specifically about this game, it was just about why this game is significant um, and especially worth importing. Um, graphically, I think it, the game was really pretty as well. Um, that's another interesting thing which I just demonstrated. Um, colliding with, sh with uh, planes and stuff doesn't necessarily kill you. In fact, I don't know if it kills you at all. Bullets are definitely something that you want to watch out for. Um, so what I kind of like about this is, like I said, um, aside from the Geometry Wars-esque feel to it, um, it additionally has um, 
just some unique mechanics uh, that obviously come into play. Great. That was something I definitely shouldn't have been by. Um, as well as, you know, the, the mech properties and things like that. Plus, I'm still a huge fan of, like, the 1940 series, like, 1943, 1944, you know, all that stuff. And even the Strikers 1945 series, which aren't that related, but they're seemingly related. Um, so, this kind of has that feel to it. So this is where I'm starting to see what I was telling you about, where screen crowding becomes an issue. Um, and again, they don't go over the top to the point where it's actually like kind of a dick move. It's just you definitely have to be aware of your environment and the things that are kind of coming at you. I also like the boss battles are just kind of ridiculous and, and interesting, you know, kind of like this submarine here. So with this sub battle, we're starting to see some early glimpses of shmup, bullet hell kind of stuff. But again, I wouldn't say it's bullet hell. Uh, I would argue that. There's going to be a certain degree of bullet dodging kind of everything you experience in a shooter. Bob and Weaven's not doing well this time. Not the least. Um, bosses go down pretty fast, though. I don't think I've gotten much farther than maybe stage 6. And I'll be honest with you, I'm not as impressed with the Apache as I was. I always knew there was like a, a weaker helicopter that I was a big fan of, and I'm pretty sure it's the Apache. That's not the craziest part about these, where they look like commercial airlines. No. <laughs> imagine if instead of using like a 747 to fight and battle. Not very durable planes, but well, they're not very combat ready planes, but they may be durable. Look, it's helped me. There's some real estate regulation. Because of the kind of like bullet spread that they do. Yeah. That was stupid. She was going for this whole way. Um, you definitely want to be aware of when the stealth is going to do um, you know, shots like that. Again, the tactics are easy to learn if you're playing the game a lot, but I. screen pattern's pretty easy to define. Pretty clear. It's kind of embarrassing that I'm dying as much as I am. The 
especially because he was so close to death. Now, the Asian slum is the fifth level, and this is where things start to get a little hairier. Um, making stupid mistakes. Uh, because these turrets, these turrets are actually no small deal. They uh, come in full force. They really do. Um, thing he does is that, all by that. <laughs>
and there you have it. So that's Zero Gunner. Um, a fun game um, and uh, easy to play, but uh, can be brutal to uh, to master. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching our video. You can check out my article on the top five uh, games worth importing at GamingHistory101.com. Check us out on uh, Twitter, uh, at Spiders Venom. I announce all the new articles, things like that. We have a podcast, if you just go to GamingHistory101.com and look for the podcast. And uh, obviously our channel here is um, VGP... Uh, youtube.com slash vgptgs your location on the screen as you can see I have a finite screen um, what changes is kind of the the area I get and as you can see my choppers kind of rotating well that's not um, that's not automatic. That's me doing it. And so this is kind of the interesting and weird way that Zero Gunner controls, which is that you have to um, hold the... Uh, I think it's the X button, because they had to, they couldn't do Nintendo-style controls because it's a Super Nintendo controller. Alright, what's up guys, and welcome to another video for Gaming History 101. Uh, as part of Appreciation 2013, um, we are doing a video today of the import game for the Dreamcast, Zero Gunner 2. Now, some of you who read this site may have noticed this was number 5 on my top 5 uh, games worth importing for, and uh, the reason being, you'll see in a second, but I decided to make this video because the only game out of this list that I didn't have a video already up for, and um, and uh, it was kind of hard to describe. And rotation isn't always the easiest thing, so that also becomes an issue, as I'm demonstrating here. <laughs> Here's where you'll start seeing some mild bullet hell uh, dodge mechanics needing to be used, but nothing crazy. The uh, boss goes down pretty fast. And then, interesting thing about this game also is the bosses have um, a people. I kind of describe it like Geometry Wars, where screen um, orientation and geometry, uh, real estate, shall I say, becomes an issue, and people didn't quite understand what I was talking about. So. Um, hopefully this will help you out. I'm gonna play it on normal level four, and uh, and I'll show you kind of what's going on. But it is more of a traditional shmup when you play it. But uh, let's start it up. All right, so you get to pick your chopper. Um, I don't know. I haven't played with all these. Oh, I guess I'll do the Apache. All right. Now the reason I say this is anyway, you hold the the button that would be um, X on the Xbox controller. I guess I would say or square on the PlayStation controller, and while you hold that, you can rotate as you fire. And so, as you can see, as the screen fills up and real estate becomes an issue, um, you'll need to rotate around and adjust accordingly. So it um, it's going to start off really easy and then get a little bit more frantic, especially with boss battles and things like that. So, uh, kind of see it as we go on. 